On a hot summer day in Atlanta, the city was buzzing with its usual energy. However, the atmosphere inside the lavish house that rapper Lil Scrappy and his wife Bambi lived was heavy, not only with the heat of the season, but also with a seething, sinister tension. They had created this house together, bringing love, dreams, and memories into it. The air was thick outside, but it was stiflingly thick inside with betrayal, a betrayal so deep that it threatened to destroy everything they had worked so hard to achieve. With her phone buzzing constantly on the coffee table, Bambi sat by herself in the living room, her heart pounding and her head spinning. She had just gotten off a heated phone conversation with her attorney. Like a hurricane she had never anticipated, the news was terrible and completely unexpected. Little clues she had disregarded, such as suspicious bank withdrawals, inexplicable transfers, and items sliding through the seams in their finances, had caused her to feel uneasy for weeks. The money was gone and the indisputable reality was now staring back at her. Everything. And that's exactly what the one person she never believed could betray her had done. She took up her phone to read the lawyer's message again, her hands shaking. Erica Dixon was the name that blazed back at her, etched in her mind. The former partner who had always hung over Scrappy's history and who, in ways Bambi could never fully remove, was always a part of their family, was Erica. The one person she had believed she could trust, although remotely, was Erica. However, that confidence had now been broken, revealing a sinister betrayal. Three million dollars was a huge amount. Taken. Every trace eventually led back to Erica after being funneled through a convoluted labyrinth of accounts, each more elusive than the one before it. As Bambi realized how big it was, her mind raced. She was aware that she had to face Scrappy, their security, their life, and their money were all at stake. But everything would fall apart if I told him. A knot formed in her gut as she gnawed at the thought of how he might react to this news. Scrappy had been engrossed in projects that had occupied him for days, working late into the night on his music. In the quiet, Bambi waited for him, bracing herself for the encounter. Though she was unsure of his reaction, she was certain it wouldn't be positive. When he eventually entered, his eyes weary and looking around the room, Bambi stood up to greet him. She had a tight face and hands that were clearly shaking. With emotion in her voice, she said, Scrappy, we must speak. He scowled, feeling that something was seriously off. How about? You appear to have seen a ghost. What is happening? Bambi was unsure of where to begin. How could she let the guy she loved know that she had been defrauded of millions by someone so close to them both? Despite the fact that every syllable felt like a kick to her stomach, she forced herself to swallow and force herself to speak. Finally, in a trembling but forceful voice, she replied, Erica, she took the money. She took it. Scrappy's whole body became rigid as he froze. What are you talking about? He questioned incredulously. How was that possible for her? As she demonstrated the proof to him, Bambi's voice cracked and she held up her phone. Wire transactions and phony accounts are the evidence I have. Scrappy, it's all right here. The three million dollars were taken by her. The room was suffocatingly quiet. As Scrappy took in what she had said, his face turned pale and his jaw tightened. He was unwilling to accept it. In one form or another, his child's mother, Erica, had always been involved in their lives but he was in shock at the idea that she could do something so horrible. Incredulous, Scrappy paced the room while running a hand through his hair. Are you certain? He stumbled. You can get things twisted. Are you saying that Erica stole your money? When Bambi answered, I wouldn't be telling you this if I wasn't sure. Her voice grew icy and her face hardened. Scrappy, the money is gone. She is the one responsible for it. There is no other way for me to put it. Bambi had never seen Scrappy's eyes darken with such intensity, but he stopped pacing. As reality set in, a whirlpool of hurt, rage, and incredulity surged in his eyes. He was no longer sure whom to believe. His ex-wife, who was also the mother of his daughter, was being accused of something so disgusting that it was unfathomable by the woman he had married and the mother of his children. What if it were true, though? his voice cracking under the strain of the situation. He mumbled, Damn it, Bambi, as he ran his hands through his hair once more. How, how did this happen? 
The sorrow in his voice made Bambi wince. Despite Scrappy and Erica's tumultuous relationship, she had trusted Erica and allowed her to be a member of their extended family. There was no turning back now that the truth was out. Fists clenched in rage, Scrappy turned toward the door. His voice was as harsh as stone as he said, I need to think. I need room. Bambi was left alone in their peaceful house as he went. Anger, betrayal, and questions she was unable to answer now eclipsed everything they had worked so hard to achieve. She had been the epitome of poise and composure, but this realization had broken her. As Scrappy drove to Erica's house, he mentally recited Bambi's remarks, his rage erupting. He was too upset to consider polite conversation when he got there. The door flung open before he could knock, and Erica stood there with her face unreadable as he rushed up to it. Scrappy, she said to him in a voice that was both gentle and firm, a disconcerting blend of composure and haughtiness. Why are you in this place? Scrappy became enraged. He yelled, I know what you did, Erica. You stole the cash. Bambi's money was stolen by you. How would you accomplish that? Erica's lips curled into a smug smirk as she lifted an eyebrow. Do you believe I took it? That's amusing. Nothing that wasn't mine in the first place was taken by me. However, it's adorable that you believe you can keep her safe. Scrappy struggled to maintain his composure as he felt it ebbing. You don't realize what you're doing. You're mistaken if you believe that I will simply watch you abuse my wife. Erica laughed, her face unmoved. Scrappy, if you say so. However, you might want to investigate who is actually in charge a bit more. What you discover may not be to your liking. He stood there in a state of perplexity and rage as she closed the door in his face. Back at home, Bambi was absorbed in her thoughts while sitting on the couch. She was unsure about how to proceed. The woman she had viewed as her biggest rival had turned into her worst enemy, and the love of her life was now enmeshed in a web of treachery. This wasn't only about money, it was also about loyalty and trust, as well as the harsh reality that sometimes the people you care about the most can do you the greatest harm. Hours later, Scrappy came home with a puzzled and frustrated expression on his face. Their lives would never be the same, and he had no answers, just more questions. Between them, the betrayal had created invisible battle lines, and neither of them knew how to mend the broken trust. They stood facing one another in the quiet of their house, both of them aware that everything had altered irrevocably. They were haunted by the image of Erica's smug smirk, which served as a warning that sometimes the people you believe to be your closest friends can actually be your deadliest enemies and it became evident that this was more than simply a financial catastrophe as the truth of their betrayal seeped in. It was a harsh lesson in love, devotion, and the heartbreaking reality that treachery can happen in the most unexpected ways.